Good morning, everybody. I'm Olga Villaverde. And I'm Amber Mills. Welcome to The Balancing Act. Okay, so are you awake? Mm. Need another cup of coffee? Yeah. Café con leche, perhaps. Well, you know, <laughs> it, as good as that sounds, even better than coffee, we've got solutions on how to put sleep deprivation to bed. As much as we don't want to talk about it or think about it, it's almost back to school time, but we've got delicious breakfast solutions that the kids and, you know, all of us will enjoy. Yes, mm. and back to school also means your child's allergies can flare up once they're back at their desk. We've got some tips on how you can prepare. So here we go, the Balancing Act starts right now. of bread that I didn't like. All right, nobody ever said it, but I happen to love bread. So I'm ecstatic over our returning guest, bread expert and culinary chef, and my friend, AJ Shepler of Rothbury Farm. Welcome back. Thank you, it's fantastic to be back. Thanks for being here. All right, this is a fabulous spread. I wish all those people it's, out there could smell. Smell it. It's delicious. It smells like breakfast, doesn't it? It smells like breakfast, lunch, dinner. It smells like I'm getting up at two in the morning to eat. But you're not. I'm not. That's, I'm what we're going to, that's where we're going with this. You're not going to be up at 2 a.m. cooking. It's early morning, and we're going to talk about bread. Let me tell no. you, from what I used to eat when I was a little girl to what bread is today. We at Rothbury Farms have created a wonderful line of breakfast breads that are savory, and they're going to cut a lot of time out of your recipe development. It's like bringing grandpa's recipe. Grandpa's oven to your table. I know, I love it. Okay, so what do we have over there? Okay, so to start off, we've got an awesome baked pumpkin swirl French toast. Mm. I mean, this is gonna be a time saver because you're gonna marinate this the night before in your custard mix, just like you would a French toast, but you're gonna let it sit overnight. You're gonna get up in the morning, maybe an hour before, pop it in the oven, when everybody starts to wake up to those beautiful fumes. Can you fumes. imagine? It's gonna be delicious. They're gonna wake up and they're gonna be wowed. Mm, I'm already and wowed. And it's, it's fresh pumpkin that's going in there. We're not using high fructose corn syrup. We're not using the artificial the ingredient. We're using real fruits in these things. It makes a huge difference. So if that's maybe a little bit out of your league, just take it, toast it off in the morning, serve it with your favorite jam spreads. You could do peanut butter. Okay, I love this one here. The apple fritter this French looks toast. This sinful. It's absolutely delicious. I and just again, want to eat it. Go ahead, tell me. Fresh what apples are in there. Got a nice swirl in there just like you would do a normal French toast, but you're adding another layer, adding some apples to it. And then you could top it with, we got a nice caramel sauce there with some brulee apples. Oh. You could do peaches onto it, you could do strawberries. Again, top it with your favorites. What's this? It's a pecan pumpkin French toast bake. Instead of doing this big thing, if you just want some individual ones, maybe you want to do a couple days in a row, put them in little ramekins, bake them off in the morning, you got breakfast to go. Now, raisin bread has always been my favorite. We don't have it out here, but again, we don't. it's a staple. It is a staple. It's been around for a long time, but again, we're using wholesome ingredients going into that. And monkey bread. Monkey bread. What is that? It's got cinnamon, it's got raisins, but instead of doing a swirl pattern, we chop it up so you got all this nice marbling of ingredients in there, giving a nice little different texture to it. And I have to repeat this. I think this is so cute. Grandpa's, Grandpa's oven. Grandpa's oven. You take great pride with that, don't you? This is what our company was really founded on, was the idea of wholesome ingredients coming from your grandma or grandpa's oven. We're gonna make a little Monte Cristo, or at least it's gonna be my version of Monte Cristo. Okay. It's a little bit different. So, we're gonna start off with some of our cinnamon swirl bread, and we're gonna do a little butter on the outside of it, because everybody needs butter in their life. So a little turkey, kind of keep it on the lean side. We got a little smoked gouda to step it up a notch. Ooh. And then Granny Smith apples. I like the tartness of the Granny Smith apples, and it really just sets off I would have this Monte never Cristo. Thought of this. Again, a little bit more butter on the outside of this, and we're just gonna let this roll for a little bit. And then you've got this gorgeous looking caramelization on the outside. Serve it with the raspberry purees, because that's what makes a Monte Cristo. So I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna take my piece. That's gonna be your piece. Okay. And we're gonna do this together, okay? What's that? that? It's the raspberry puree. Okay, okay. You got, got to make it traditional. Okay. You ready for this? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. You get those layers? Mm. That cinnamon Ooh, wow. just sets it off a little bit more. Yeah, this is really good. All uh the recipes are available at rothberryfirms.com. Mm -hmm. um, so feel free, go explore, enjoy, and modify them. 
Modify them to your taste. Okay. You can come back anytime, anytime. Awesome. Thank One you for time. having Give us here. Give me the again. website. Rothberryfarms.com. Rothberryfarms.com. This is so good. Isn't Thank you, so sir. I'm going to go for another You're one. the best. And for more information on delicious breakfast breads and more, isn't he adorable? Visit rothberryfarms.com or go to our website, thebouncingact.com. It's back to school time again, and you know what that means, moms. Time to readjust schedules, yours and your kids. We know that can be a huge challenge to not only our waking hours, but our sleep hours as well. With us to talk about improving precious nighttime sleep so we're feeling and looking our absolute best is Shannon Wright, a registered dietitian and wellness expert with Natrol. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? I absolutely slept well last night. Thank <laughs> I you. I slept well last night too, but you know what? Sometimes I don't, and when I don't, I'm in a bad mood. So what's going on? Well, you are not alone. Over 50 million people are struggling with their sleep. And women are twice as likely than men to complain about sleep issues. As always, it falls on us. Why? Because we're thinking too much, we're planning too much. Overload, overload, overload. Absolutely. And you're irritable. <laughs> <laughs> and you just can't function. You just absolutely can't function. And experts are even tying it to even greater health issues. They're tying it to your heart health, wow. blood sugar health, and even weight gain. So how many hours do you recommend, Shannon? I know it depends on the person, but... You know, if you're getting seven to nine hours a night, you're doing good. And that's really what you should base your waking time up on. Mm -hmm. If you need to wake up at six, get to bed. Get to bed between nine and 11. That's, that's what you need to do. It's not easy to get to bed between nine and 11. Well, you need to be intentional about your sleep. It is so important to overall health. It is just as important as eating right, exercising, and you put a lot of effort into that probably. Yes. So why aren't we putting the effort into our sleep? And let's talk about then kids going back to school, getting the good night's rest for them is more crucial, but the moms are also facing the challenges of getting that good night's rest because they're getting things in order. Yeah, and we're putting all that pressure on ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get the right school, the right homework, guitar lessons. We are trying to provide every opportunity possible for those kids so they can be successful. And what is sacrificed in the midst of it? The mom's sleep. So when it comes to sleep, I know melatonin plays a crucial role for a good night's rest, doesn't it? It absolutely is involved in the sleep-wake cycle in the body. And how does that work? Well, melatonin is produced naturally in the body. Mm -hmm. And it actually, as the sun goes down around 9 o'clock, our body starts kicking on melatonin production and it continues until the sun comes up in the morning. And so there's lots of things that we can do wrong to stop that melatonin production. One is nighttime TV viewing or smartphone viewing. That light stops your body from making the melatonin it needs. Uh, erratic schedules, not going to bed at the same time, a poor diet. There are many things that can really interrupt that melatonin cycle. So how can we fix that cycle? Well, natural melatonin is a great option. Mm -hmm. It's found over the counter, and you can supplement with this to really reset that sleep cycle. So how fast would that work if someone is having that disruptive you know, cycle? People take it 20 minutes before they go to bed, and many people report feeling an effect the very first time they take it. Really? Now there's tablets. What are the options? There's a fast dissolve, and there's a liquid. Is this something that I would consider, Shannon, that maybe as opposed to Oh, I don't know, maybe prescription medications, which are sometimes a little bit too harsh? Yeah, sleep is very important to overall health, as we talked about. And so if you have a serious sleep problem, you really need to talk to a healthcare professional about your sleep options. But if you have a mild to moderate sleep issue, or it's new to you, like I, I'm just starting not to sleep for the mm -hmm. first time, melatonin is a great first line of defense to try to really get your sleep back on track. Is this something that I would do daily permanently, or is it just temporarily? Well, melatonin can be taken temporarily until you really get the results you want in terms of resetting that sleep cycle. So for anyone out there that's maybe having a bad night's rest and school is starting, give us our last minute hope of saying you can go to sleep and get your Z's. Stress plays a role in melatonin production. If we're too stressed, we're just not gonna make the melatonin we need. So there's all sorts of stress tips, right, that moms can implement as they're back to school time. A hot bath at night, gentle stretching, yoga, and just really relax and take Natrol's melatonin as filling the gap as you readjust. Excellent, and for our viewers out there who'd like more information on all of this, where do they go? You know, Natrol's available at 
large grocery stores, drug stores, your big chain stores, and you can go to online retailers, and natural.com also has a list of where you can find it. Thank you so much, appreciate it. And hopefully everybody after they see this will get a good night's rest. We Thank you so. for your time. And if you'd like more information on this topic, you can also visit thebalancingact.com. School is resuming, and for many students, specifically those who suffer from asthma, face lessons on how to manage this chronic disease. Michelle Casalia from the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America has some great tips for those who suffer from asthma and food allergies. You might be surprised to learn which allergens are lurking and where. It's back to school for children across the country, but young asthma sufferers and their families face an extra set of lessons on managing this chronic disease. Back to school can be stressful for parents, but if you have a child with asthma, it can be extremely stressful. You have to deal with triggers outside the classroom and inside the classroom. So where are these triggers lurking? Rugs or carpets which can collect dust mites and chalk dust. Rigorous sports may exert your child. Freshly mowed grass on the playground, trees and weeds outside a classroom, and chemicals used for cleaning the building and treating the lawn, just to name a few. Some of those outside and inside triggers can have a child go into a full-blown severe asthma attack. Some of those symptoms may include tightness in the chest, coughing, and wheezing. Another concern for school children, food allergies. I know as a mom, it can be extremely stressful sending your child to school with a food allergy. But if you prepare ahead of time and you communicate your concerns and the triggers and the food allergies that your child is dealing with, it can make the whole situation be so much more manageable. And for more tips and information on asthma and food allergies, visit the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America at aafa.org or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Hey, Olga, do you like road trips? I really don't. Oh. I'd rather fly. I love getting on the open road, but you know what? The most important thing before leaving is you've got to be prepared. Absolutely. So here's Debbie Marie with a travel tip courtesy of Sunoco. Travel tips brought to you by Sunoco on the racetrack or the road home. Sunoco, fueling victories every day. Road trips can be a real adventure. Whether you're going it alone or with family, you have to be prepared. So what do you do before you hit the road? The key is preparation. So make a list. Yeah, go old school. Grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make a list, and then make it happen. One of the most important things for your car on a trip, even local ones, is a first aid kit. Make sure you have one that's fully loaded. Water, take plenty with you. Stay hydrated, it will keep you alert and feeling good. Snacks, I mean really, what's a road trip without munchies? And psst, moms, it'll keep the kids happy and quieter too. A flashlight, a great item to have, really daytime or nighttime. And tools for the car, screwdriver, wrench, pliers, socket set, jumper cables, blanket. These can really save an expensive repair or just get you back on the road. And make sure you have one of these, a tire gauge. Properly filled tires are safer and they last longer. Finally, check your oil and washer fluid before you leave. Simply locate the oil dipstick, it's this, and see if it reads full. If it does, you're good to go. Check the level in the washer fluid reservoir to determine if it needs any more before you leave. If you need oil, washer solvent, or premium quality fuel, Sunoco's got you covered, and a whole lot more. Well, that's it for now. See you next time, and happy trails. Travel Tips has been brought to you by Sunoco. On the racetrack or the road home. Sunoco, fueling victories every day. By now, we all know adult online education is a trend that's here to stay. But guess what? 
Thanks to leading educators with an eye on the evolving needs of today's adult students, it's also a trend that keeps getting more important every day. So here with an update on what's trending in online degree programs is Kimbria Browning and Dr. Nelson Soto from Union Institute and University. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much. So Kimbria, let me start with you. You are, your specialty is enrollment. So what does today's adult student look like? Um, it's very interesting the trends that are happening in the adult learner demographic right now. 70% of the non-traditional student is the working adult student that's working full-time, part-time. Of that group, 60% are women. Oh. The average age of a union student is 39. 39. So what are some of the reasons, let's say, for someone, an adult student, and, and I'm going to use myself for an example. Mm -hmm. I've thought of getting online and getting my master's one day. What is driving those people to do it? It really depends on where that individual is in the season of their life. Okay. So you have the working adult student that is currently in a job and they're looking to move up or transition to another department or just grow in some way and a degree is necessary. Then you also have the uh, adult student that is looking to change their career entirely. Mm -hmm. So going in an opposite direction of where they are now and really uh, brushing up on the skill sets that they have are important, so they want to earn their degree for that reason. And then you just have the working adult who has always dreamed of earning their degree. Earning and that would their be doctoral. me. Exactly. I've exactly. always wanted to get Earning one. their doctoral degree or master's degree, and it's been lingering and burning inside them, and they just wanted to do it. And there's someone like me, for example, out there as well with the same reason. I've always wanted to do it, maybe one day I'll be a professor because I've done TV for a long time, and I think I have some value to give. How do you help someone like me or someone out there that has that intimidation factor? No, I think that's a great question. Part of what we focus on is the individual themselves. With the role of online learning and the type of faculty that we have, we have faculty members who have probably walked in their shoes. These are individuals that worked in the profession and now are giving back. So our faculty members are normally, we call them scholar practitioners. Mm -hmm. uh, individuals that will sit with you one-on-one, -on -one, nice. that will call you, um, that will Skype with you, do whatever they can to develop that social presence, to, to lessen that fear factor. We're an institution that purposely we want to be a small institution so we can have a personal relationship with you. And is there a trend in terms of degrees that adults are going for today? There is. We see a lot more adults going towards our Masters of Science in Organizational Leadership. They want to continue to be leaders in their organizations and they want to look at different ways of trying to fix problems and, and they are solution providers and this Masters will allow them to just think outside the box. And Kimbria, let's now talk about maybe someone who doesn't want to get the Masters, someone now who wants to completely change their career. Right. Uh, what advice would you give them to give them that you know to steer them in that direction well as enrollment specialist one of the things that's really important for us is to build a partnership and a relationship ask a lot of key questions about why do you want to do this and where do you want to go and how we can fill the gap area do you need to build upon skills that you don't have do you just need to enhance the skills that you have right now it really depends on again where the student is in their life and what is really motivating them to want to do this and again just to understand that they can do this and this can work for them and Dr. Doctor, when it comes to technology, how does your online program help bridge that gap of what I call communication, since we are talking about communication and getting a degree in communication for me, but I think like back then I had my teacher there, this is online, do I still get that one-on-one -on -one? if I have questions, if I have doubts, do I feel like you're there for me? Yes. Yes. We have that social presence. So we're still using the telephone. Think about how you're connecting with individuals around the world with Facebook. We do the same thing awesome. with our learning management platform. So we have that personal social connection with you no matter where you are. You could be working at your kitchen table or taking a break from, from your job. We will connect with you and you'll have a group of cohorts, colleagues to work with you as you continue your journey and pursuing your degree. So the support is there. Definitely. Kimbria, I know you have a lot of success stories with this program. That's correct. We have more than 15,000 alumni. Mm -hmm. Our union graduates are serving in the public, private, nonprofit sectors, a member of the United States Congress, and the first female prime minister of Jamaica. And maybe Olga Villaverde will be on that list too. Absolutely, why not? That'd be awesome. I really want to do it. One day I will, I promise. Thank you so much for your time. For information on the online program, where can our viewers go? Myunion.edu. Myunion.edu. Always wanted to be in front of a classroom teaching students one day. That's my dream. Doctor, thank you so much for thank your time. You. Appreciate it. Come back anytime. Thank you. And of course, if you'd like more information, you can log on to our website. That's thebalancingact.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.
that's our show for today, but head to our Facebook page and our website and follow us on Twitter. We've got so much there for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Okay.